What is the law of contrapositive? Let's take an example. Take P to be I drive and Q to be I have a driving license. Let's assume P implies Q. If I drive, then I've got a driving license. We're accepting this to be true. Let's consider the converse. Q implies P. Does this always hold? If you've got a driving license, it doesn't mean that you drive. You may not have a car. It does sometimes hold, but not always. When it does hold, it's called an if and only if. Now consider P implies not Q. Is this true? Is it true that if I drive, I don't have a driving license? Actually, we know for sure that this is false because if P implies Q and P implies not Q, they cannot both be true. You either have a driving license or you don't, so you have a contradiction. And this is always false. Let's consider the contrapositive. Not Q implies not P. Is this true? In other words, if the fact that someone drives means that they have a driving license, does it mean that if they don't have a driving license, it means they don't drive? Actually, yes. This argument always holds, and this is known as the law of contrapositive. So whenever you know that P implies Q, you can be sure that not Q implies not P. To show what we mean, let's draw the truth tables for P implies Q and not Q implies not P. We try out all possible combinations of true and false. As you can see, they're the same.